2020, there's a catastrophic failure somewhere and it's an emergency, something needs to be done. In an off-grid solar system, the voltage fluctuate. You know, mine fully charged at 25 and I discharge it to 19.6. You know, it, there's a lot of different math problems going on there. There's a lot of different ways to approach it, uh, how, you, how you live your life and, and use the, the, uh, the, the, the equipment that you buy is also, oh, this is why you don't buy JBL speakers. Uh, and, and how you approach your system too, and that's definitely getting into some, something else I've learned about is, is you know, don't people expect the you know when they when they buy their off-grid solar system, they put all this money and effort and energy into it, and they they flip that switch, they're expecting an experience just like the house that they moved out of or the building that they were in or whatever you know like. Buying enough batteries to cover your needs is definitely doable and easy, and it's cheap. But you're also you're never going to get past the fact that it's a it's an off grid solar system. You know, um, waiting till midnight to do your laundry is is not something that you're going to want to do. Or if there's anything that you know, charge all your devices and batteries and everything during the day. You know, when the sun's out, it doesn't make any sense to deplete your battery unnecessarily at night when with with things like that. You know. Um, if there's any cooking or anything that you can do during the day, uh, you know, that makes much more sense. I'm not saying inconvenience your life or, or, or adopt a whole bunch of new practices or anything, but uh, my life definitely um, gets up and goes down with, with the sun. You know, I, I don't do a whole lot after, besides charge my phone and tablet, about the only thing that uh, is really heavy after dark. Um, randomly cooking, I guess, if I don't get home till late, but... Uh, since I've turned my, or take my air conditioner down, um, I have more power than I could ever possibly want. You know, I got those. I started this whole project with three batteries, three leaf modules. Now I have six. The only reason I got six is because stupid little things like that. I wanted to be able to cook at two o'clock in the morning if I wanted or needed to, um, and I just didn't have enough storage to do everything else that I wanted to. But the, the leaf batteries make it make it just a no-brainer. You know, start with six, start with nines. Uh, which I should get back to, uh, but if it's not enough, shit, add three more. You know, it's only a couple hundred bucks. Uh, one thing I forgot about the, the the modules and the 24 versus 48 volt systems. Um, a lot of those guys down in the in the southern states and whatnot, they 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 want to do this, but they also want to have the 24 seven air conditioner, and which is something that they just wouldn't have been able to do with lithium, with brand new lithium. That would be, you know, twenty four thousand dollars if you wanted to have that many. Uh, an air conditioner running 24/7. So uh, what they do is they, you know, my system is is 24 volt, and I use three modules at a time, um, and that works till about 12 modules. Um, and, and then it just doesn't make any sense to run a 24 volt system with more than 12 modules, because at 14 modules, you're uh, into the 48 volt realm, and you might as well just do that. There's no sense in having 15, 18, 21 module of these modules grouped in pairs of three or in groups of three still run in 24 volt when you've got this what got the power you've got the storage and you've got the system size to to handle 48 volts especially if you're doing it from scratch if you haven't even bought an air or an inverter yet and you're looking at 12 plus modules that's a no-brainer do 48 volts it's not going to inhibit and in, or it's not going to inhibit anything that you can do with the system or it's not going to change uh, you know any of your step downs or anything you're just gonna have to get it from 48 to 12. Uh, i'm rambling on way too long on a stupid video that was supposed to be about what i learned uh da -da 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 -da, back to the certified um differences between uh, off-grid and on-grid there is no certifications needed for off-grid solar installers there is all kinds of classes and seminars and workshops that charge astronomically amount large amounts of money for these things that they're claiming certifications. You can be PV certified 101. That, that's not a thing. That's not a, an actual paper that people ask for. That's not a certification that uh, if you went and tried to start an off-grid solar business that anybody would ever ask you for because it's not official. It doesn't have any weight. It doesn't, it's not important. It's just a name that somebody, I'm not, don't want to diss those workshops and those, and those classes and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is don't pay a thousand dollars for a PV certification that is, you know, isn't going to do anything more than your personal knowledge that you gain, which is valuable. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I've seen people charging as much as a thousand dollars for those things, and you can anybody could go and take the test online right now without even having to go through a class or any sort of certification 
or anybody official, you can pay $150 right now and, get the and take the, the test and, and, and you get the same piece of paper. You don't need to go through the class. You don't have to have hours. You don't have to, uh, you know, have some sort of other teacher sign off or anything. They're just, the industry is so brand new, there just isn't. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the grid tide is definitely where the large sums of money are at and off-grid solar is still just kind of a, a nerdy hobby if you will, that, and that like it always has been, but now with the, you know, the, 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 the uh, addition of the, the new concept of recycling electric vehicle batteries and whatnot, it's not a hobby anymore. We're, we're recycling one of the nastiest chemicals that we extract from this planet in ways that are, you know, uh, extending the life of, of something that's already been harvested and, and, and extracted, uh, not creating the need for more, um, it, you're going off grid at the same time. I mean, the list of, of reasons and, and effects of how you're reducing your carbon footprint when building an off grid solar system with leaf batteries. Like, make an off grid solar system and make, uh, compare that list to the one made with the leaf batteries. And it's, uh, you just, all, all you have to do is wake up in the morning and you're automatically reducing your car carbon footprint when your life is powered by used and reclaimed Nissan Leaf lithium ion batteries. <laughs> That's that's just uh, how how it works out. Your power, your, your your life gets powered. The the planet gets saved a little bit more and doesn't have to see a little bit more destruction. You win because you save thousands of dollars. Nobody loses. I've been saying that for two years. That's a win 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 situation. Do 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 do. Clean your panels. That definitely helps. You know, uh, all of a sudden you say we're like, wait a minute, it's not cloudy. How come my panels? You know. There's probably some dust or something, bird shit on it or something. Excuse me, sorry. But I, I really do think the birds around here use my panels as target practice. I don't understand, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Um, a couple other things I've noticed. I went down to Utah for a couple weeks. Uh, came back and my battery was the exact same. It was two hundredths of a volt off uh, from when I left it. That means in two, two weeks with nothing connected, nothing turned on or used, it, it went down two one hundredths of a volt, uh, you know, so I don't know what you want to do the time over that. Uh, it's definitely a lot longer than, than lead acid or AGM, but let's see. Uh, pretty much what I have learned there. Um, you know, the, the, the equipment's still working fine. The batteries are still the same voltage I've got, I got them at. Uh, we replaced that one charge controller with the exact same model, only because the booklet and uh, manual that Renogy used to send out with those models was extremely misleading and I was trying to charge thing or I was trying to power 12 volt things through a 24 volt uh, load terminal and it doesn't doesn't work so uh, they they replaced it free of charge great customer service hell I had it a new one in my hand less than 72 hours after I called them um, you know there still might be a kind of a couple hiccups with that app of Renegies but uh, it, 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 there's no other brand out there that's got that kind of support, that kind of tech support and customer service. Uh, they, they have to, though, because they deal with Amazon and Home Depot. That's their two biggest contracts. And so when somebody calls up and says, your manual is stupid and your math is off, here's why, and proves it, they're not going to say, oh, you're wrong. <laughs> they, they just replaced it. Uh, you know, that's about it, I guess. Um, everything's still in here. I haven't moved anything around. You're not going to be able to see much in there, but my six modules are still there. Maybe I can pick up the camera and show it a little bit here. If it's still even filming. Yes, it is still filming. Everything's still in here. Still same charge controller. I guess if you wanted to, I could show some voltage. 31 minutes. Holy cow. This video was not supposed to be that long. Let's see if I can do this uh, one-handed, yeah? This way, and seven five nine. We'll go seven five nine. We'll go to the next pause. 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 This one's gonna be higher because this one was bought at a different time. Yeah. So three three tenths difference between one and the, and the larger one. I mean, not larger one. Uh, this one is seven point six eight, and that one there. And, and these two in the middle are seven point nine two. So that's always been that way because I bought them at different times. Uh, we are still in the middle of charging though. We're not even up to two, three, one, two, three, two is what it's bouncing back and forth. We are pulling 31.6 volts at nine and a half amps at whatever noon, one o'clock. 
mid-February, 76%. 23 volts is where my battery's at. Zero amp coming from the load terminals. I have created 28 amp hours today so far. I have banked, not banked, I've used six amp hours on my load terminals. <laughs> that is the temperature. That is my load terminal setting, which is manual. 15 just means it's always on and I have to manually change it or, or turn it on and off, which is what I want because I've got different strings of LEDs. And that is just E0, zero, error zero. Error zero. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that means there is no errors on the little... Uh, triangle with the exclamation point in it is your your warning. You know, this is the same up here. This light would be blinking if there was a, a warning, and you'd be able to... It'd be like E1 th through E12, I think, is how many there are. I forget, actually. Um, but you just look it up in, the, in either the manual or the um, online corresponding whatever. But the batteries are still here, still intact. Nothing's, nothing's bulging. Nothing's, you know... Haven't really changed anything. The inverter's still the same. Still got the same two plugins wired. You know, that's I've only got one circuit. I don't have a breaker. Anyway, it's pretty ghetto and 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 cheap, but it's been powering my life for nine months now. Completely off the grid. I haven't paid a power bill. Haven't needed to. I mean, that power pole is out there if I ever needed it, but I haven't needed it. So, 33 minutes. I didn't mean for it to be that long. Thanks for watching.